the closer we get to Christmas, the busier we are. And it's hard to find time for our hobbies like crafting. If you're looking for some quick home decor crafts for Christmas, I've got you covered. And by the way, if you're new here, my name's Jess. I'm really excited to get crafting. I hope you are too. Let's get started. Gingerbread men are so popular in Christmas decorating, and I love how big this felt kit is that you can find at the Dollar Tree. In addition to one of those, I went over to the automotive section and I grabbed two of the microfiber car wash cloths. I'm gonna make a really cute gingerbread pillow. I started with the elements that came in the kit. It was really easy to put together. You could tell from the picture on the front of the kit where you needed to glue each thing down. I will say that the felt pieces are pretty thin, so so uh, when I was using my hot glue to glue everything in place, you could see some of the hot glue seeping through, but it did dry clear. It wasn't a big deal because I knew I was going to put paint over it anyway. After my gingerbread was all decorated, I set it aside and grabbed my two car wash cloths. I laid them down and I tried to line the edges up as best as I could. They didn't match up perfectly and that was okay. I started at the bottom with a little hot glue. I ran some hot glue from one edge towards the center. I left a gap in the center and then started again with the hot glue towards the other corner. This way I had a hole on one side so that I could stuff my pillow. I ran hot glue around all of the edges, lining up each side as best as I could. And I made sure that that hot glue was really cooled and set before I moved on to turning my pillow inside out. I plan on just setting this pillow out as a decoration, but if you think that some people in your household might want to actually use it as a pillow, I would probably recommend sewing this rather than just hot gluing it. And I also think if you didn't want to make a pillow at all, you could just use one car wash cloth, hot glue the gingerbread man to the cloth and use it as a really cute wall hanging. Once my hot glue was all cooled and set, then I started turning my pillow back inside out so that the right sides were facing out and you couldn't see those raw edges. Once I had it all turned around, then I grabbed my gingerbread man and just using hot glue again, I hot glued it down to the center of the pillow. As a final touch for my gingerbread man, I grabbed some white fabric paint. I actually found this at the Dollar Tree. I thought it was gonna be puffy paint, but when it dried, it actually kind of sunk into the felt a bit and so it was more flat, which is okay. I still thought it looked cute and it looked like icing on a gingerbread man. Now the good thing about using the paint on this, because like I said, some of that hot glue seeped through those little felt pieces and you could see where it was, I just used the fabric paint to cover up and camouflage where that hot glue had come through. Now that my paint's dry, you can see what I mean where the paint kind of soaked into the felt. Like I said, that didn't bother me, but if you think you'd rather have a puffy paint look, maybe go for a different brand and don't get the one from the Dollar Tree. The last step for my pillow was just to stuff it with some extra pillow stuffing I had on hand. Once I had it as full as I liked it, then I just used more hot glue to seal up that little hole in the side. If you have little ones in your family, this is a perfect craft for them. Grab a pair of the fuzzy socks from the Dollar Tree and a tube of ornaments. I grabbed a pair of socks that were red and white striped because I'm really loving the candy cane theme this year. I also grabbed some of the cello wrap that you can find in the party section and some ribbon. I started by taking the socks and from the top of the sock down, I measured the ornament and I just cut off a piece. Since the ornament already has the topper on it, it made it really easy. I grabbed a piece of ribbon, I fished it through the topper, tied a knot on the end, and then I slid the sock up over the ornament and I tied each end into place so it looked like a piece of candy. I also think this would be a cute way to wrap up some bath bombs if you wanted to give those as stocking stuffers. Once I had both ends of my candy ornament tied together, then I got out that cello wrap from the party section. I cut a small piece, I rolled it around the ornament and then tied that into place on both ends as well. 
You could do this with or without the cello wrap. I actually did it both ways and I think both ornaments are cute. And then it's up to you how you wanna decorate this. On the one ornament, I decided just to do some curly ribbon like you would do on a package. And on another one, I just tied a little bow out of some regular cloth ribbon and glued that to the top of the ornament. I also think these things come together so quick and easy that this would be a really cute way to dress up packages or gifts. You could use this tie your gift tag to the ornament and then attach that to your package as a fun way to give a gift. I remember making cinnamon applesauce ornaments as a kid and I always thought it was so fun. So I decided to take that same idea and turn it into a garland. I grabbed two containers of cinnamon from the Dollar Tree, a four pack of the applesauce, but you only need two cups of that, and some white school glue. To my mixing bowl, I have both jars of the ground cinnamon, two of the applesauce cups, and three tablespoons of the white school glue. When the dough was mostly mixed together in my mixing bowl, I pulled it out and I just started kneading it a few times on the counter. I did sprinkle a little extra cinnamon on my counter first just to make sure it wouldn't stick, but even if that cinnamon wasn't there, I don't think it was going to stick anyway. Once I had everything all incorporated, I shaped my dough into a disc to make it easier to roll out. I laid a piece of saran wrap over my dough to make it easier to roll and so it wouldn't make my rolling pin dirty. I rolled it out until it was about a quarter to a half an inch thick the whole way around. They do have plastic cookie cutters at the Dollar Tree, which are perfect for making these ornaments. For mine, I decided to stick with just the gingerbread man shape and the star shape. And just like you would make regular cutout cookies, you just cut the shapes out of the cinnamon applesauce dough. And then I used a spatula to transfer them to my baking sheet. Once I had all the shapes on my baking sheet, I took a regular drinking straw and I poked a hole at the top of each one so that I would have a place to string some twine through to hang them. If they come apart a little bit where you poke the straw in, it's really easy just to push the edges back together. Once you have the ornaments all ready to go, you can either let these sit out on your baking sheet for 24 to 48 hours, or what I did was stick them in a 200 degree oven for about two hours, and I flipped them over halfway through just to make sure that they got nice and dried out all over. After my ornaments were all dry, if there were any rough edges, I just used an old nail file to smooth them out a bit. I didn't want it completely smooth because I do like that rustic look. I kept the decorating fairly simple for these because I think they're cute as is, but for my little gingerbread man, I took some red and white gingham ribbon, I took a small piece, tied a knot in the middle, and dovetailed both ends so that it would look like a bow tie that I glued around his neck. And for the star-shaped ones, I had a pack of these wooden snowflake ornaments on hand, and I just simply hot glued one snowflake to the center of each star. To connect my ornaments to my nautical rope to form the garland, I'm using some red and white baker's twine. I strung it through the top of the ornament, tied it in place, and then I tied it to my nautical rope. Now I had already measured out the length of rope that I wanted, so I found the center and I put my first ornament in the center, and then I just spaced the other ornaments out on either side. I just eyeballed it. Sometimes I measured it, but this was fairly easy just to space it out evenly from the center to the two ends. And of course, if you don't want to make a garland with these, you could just hang them from the tree as ornaments, or these would make really good gift tag toppers as well. I don't know about you, but I always struggle to find ways that I can add Christmas touches to my kitchen and dining room. So I had this idea. I went to the Dollar Tree. I grabbed one of their plain silver napkin holders and one of their paper towel holders. Then I went over to the ornament section. I grabbed two of the ornaments that I liked. Both of them had plaid on it, which I really love for Christmas. And all I had to do was use a combination of some of the fix-all adhesive from the Dollar Tree, which is a lot like the E6000 glue, and some hot glue, and I glued the ornaments one to the front of each of the paper towel holders and the napkin holders. And this way I had a fun way to display my Christmas napkins and also a fun way to keep my paper towels in place. The little 
cardboard mailboxes that they carry at the Dollar Tree are a great way to give a gift, but I also think it would make a great decoration. I grabbed one of the larger ones, some of these thicker wooden dowels from Walmart, and a wooden plaque that I had in my stash that I think was from the Dollar Tree, but I know they usually have pieces of wood like this at Dollar Tree or at Michael's. I started by sanding off some of the rough edges from the plaque and then using a combination of wood glue and hot glue, I glued the dowel to the center of the plaque. After I had added my first round of glue, then I went around with my glue gun and added more glue to the outside of the dowel just to make sure that it was nice and secure. Once my hot glue was all set up, then I took the Crimson Color by Waverly and I gave the plaque and the wooden dowel one thick coat of that paint. While my paint was drying, I wanted to create a bow for on the side of my mailbox because where the little flag was, it was kind of beat up and it didn't look great. I took some of this candy striped ribbon that I had in my stash, I took one piece and formed a loop and I used a little hot glue to secure the two ends together. Then I took a, a second piece and I formed another loop that was slightly smaller than the first one and again I used some hot glue to secure the two ends. I took a third piece that was going to be the tails of my bow and I just cut that so that it would stick out on either side of the two loops. Once I had everything cut and glued, then I stacked everything on top of each other starting with the tails going up to the smallest piece and then I used a pipe cleaner to cinch the center and keep it secure. As a finishing touch I took a little red sparkly pom-pom and I just hot glued that into the center. I pulled off that little beat up flag that was on the side of the mailbox and then I just hot glued that bow to cover up the little brad where that flag was. Before attaching my mailbox to the stand, I took a piece of this green garland from the Dollar Tree. They also have garland ties um, if you wanted to use that instead. I just wrapped it around the base of the dowel rod. It helped cover up that glue that I had put on there to secure it in place and it gave it a little extra decoration. Once I had that down, I added a little more glue just to make sure that it wouldn't slip around. And then I used some of those red pom-poms again, the smaller ones, and I just placed a few on the wreath to look like little berries. I found the center on the bottom of my mailbox and I marked it with a pencil so that I would know where I needed to glue my dowel rod to. I found it was easier if I had everything laid on its side. I just added a good amount of hot glue and stuck my dowel rod to it. I held it in place until it was set and then I added more hot glue around the base just to keep it extra secure. I always love making wreaths for my front door at Christmas and I wanted to make something that was a little more unique. I grabbed two of the foam wreath forms from the Dollar Tree and two packs of the green garland. These packs are 15 feet long which was the perfect length for each of these wreaths. I started by finding the center on the garland and I looped it over the wreath form and then pulled the ends back through. That way it was a little bit easier to wrap the greenery around the wreath form because I was using two pieces rather than just one piece if that makes any sense. It went a lot quicker this way. I just made sure that as I was pulling the greenery through that every time I laid it back down that the two pieces of garland were next to each other rather than stacked on top of each other so I got a better coverage. And once I got to the end that's when I added the hot glue. I didn't need to add any hot glue at the beginning where I had slipped it on but once I got back around to the other end I just added some hot glue and held it in place with my spatula until it was set. After I had both of my wreath forms covered in that green garland, I cut a piece of ribbon that was about 12 inches long and I laid the wreaths next to each other and looped the ribbon through both of them to connect them to make a double wreath. Then I took another length of ribbon and I strung that through the top of the first wreath and glued that in place to act as a hanger. I created a simple double bow using that same ribbon and then at the top of that first wreath form I just attached the bow to cover up where I had hot glued the two ends of that ribbon together. As a final step I grabbed a couple of frosted pine cones from my stash and a couple extra pieces of greenery and I just tucked them in here and there. You can't really see on camera but there were a few gaps in between that garland as I had wrapped it around and I wanted to make sure you couldn't actually see that wreath form coming through 
any of that. So anywhere that I saw a little bit of the wreath form, I just tucked in either a pine cone or an extra piece of greenery. The next time you're at the Dollar Tree, head down the picture frame aisle and pick out one you like because I created a really cute Christmas bucket list printable for you. It's free, it's linked in the description box. And I would have to say this is probably the quickest DIY on the video. All you have to do is print out that printable, trim it down a little bit to fit in the frame, and you have an instant piece of Christmas artwork that you can add to any room in your house. Thanks for taking time out of your busy holiday schedule to watch this video. I always love hearing from you, so make sure you leave me a comment. I hope you have a great week. I hope you're not too stressed, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.